I want to talk to you today a little bit about um, our CA accelerator. Okay, I'm gonna I'll move the camera around a little bit, but to start with, um, so I've been I started out using Bob Smith Industries InstaSet. Okay, that's two fluid ounces, and I cannot remember what that cost right off, but you know it's not it's not cheap. So Bob Smith stuff is fairly expensive, okay? So I'm gonna move that off to the side. Okay, then when that ran out, okay, then I ordered this CA accelerator pump refill, of course. Um, a lot better value for the money. And I think I paid 20 bucks for this on eBay. Okay, well, it's gone. And I mean this stuff works very well so okay so then you can you can see in the background where we're where we're headed with this video okay so I read that you can basically make um, a CA accelerator using um, an isopropyl alcohol uh, denatured alcohol which I have there and then the actual accelerant is the um, sodium hydroxide, which is a, a strong base, okay? However, we're only going to use a 1% solution of so sodium hydroxide. So what I want to try to do, okay, so I got on the internet and I read and read and read hours of people's opinions and everything else on what, you know, what to make um, for CA accelerator. And a lot of people were just like, oh, screw it, just go buy you know, go spend the the twenty bucks on another bottle of it, and well, that's all good. But what if this what if this works? If this works, then you know I have twenty dollars worth of no, it wasn't twenty dollars denatured alcohol there. That was about twelve dollars a buck for the isopropyl alcohol. Um, eight or nine dollars for the sodium hydroxide and distilled water you know less than a buck a gallon for distilled water so i mean if it works i have enough well and actually yeah i got i got four jugs of the alcohol for four bucks or whatever so i mean if it works i i have enough stuff here to make you know oodles of this stuff here for you know a fraction of the cost so let's just go ahead and try it and see what happens, okay? All right. I promise I'll edit out the slow stuff here. Okay, so first things first. Um, so I just have a generic squeeze bottle here. And I don't even know how much water to put in there. This isn't graduated, so I'm just going to put some water in there. And uh, then I'm going to put a, this is just a teaspoon for sodium hydroxide. Now remember, we're just making a 1% solution, so I didn't do the math, and I probably could, but it, it, if you have at least a 1% solution, it should work, right? Okay. So let's just pour a little bit of water in here. Okay, I'm gonna go for that much. Okay, it might be a little bit too much because uh, if half of the bottle is 50%, that'd be 25. That's like, that's probably like 20%. Okay, so. I think what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and put the sodium hydroxide in there and then I'll to dissolve it and then I'll dump a little of the excess into another jar and save it. All right, so I have roughly a teaspoon. Okay, we're going to dump that in there. And we're going to put the lid on. 
Okay, so that should be a real basic solution there. Okay. Ooh, and it got warm. It got really warm. This just goes into solution. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we're going to pause the camera and I'm going to dump at least half of that out. Okay, here's what I happen to have. Okay, so, and I can save this. It's clean inside. Okay, so that bottle is really nice and warm. It really is. So, the more basic it is, the faster the super glue is going to set, you know. So, so let's try, let's try that. That'd be 25, that's about a 10% solution of base. Okay. Okay, then this is hot, but... Okay, I'm going to save it on the shelf, okay? Okay, the next step is to add alcohol. So this is isopropyl alcohol, and we're going to fill this up to about 50%. Okay. Definitely pungent. So that's from Walmart. Okay, 91%. And that's about a buck for that. Okay, so then we're going to use denatured alcohol, which is camp fuel, what most people call camp fuel, clean burning fuel. Okay, and I can't tell you for sure. Um, there's another name for this and I can't think of what it is right now. Okay, so I'll just try to I'll try to add it to the video later. Okay, so then we're gonna top off this with the denatured alcohol. Okay, something tells me this is gonna be hard to pour out of. Oh yeah, it's already dripping. Nah. Okay. I just need something to pour out of this funny spout. And pouring faster is better than pouring slower. Okay. Yeah, enough of it on my hands. Okay, so wear gloves. You don't want that on your hands. Okay. I'm gonna put that lid back on. Okay, then we're gonna top this off. Okay, I would call that the top. Okay, so I'm going to put my finger over that lid. And I'm just going to stir this up. So water and alcohol readily mix. There's no, uh, they won't separate out once they're mixed. Okay. Now, what I think I will do, so what I think I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and refill my um, accelerator bottle. Okay, so here's my Bob Smith bottle, and just to show you, there might be a drop left in it, but that's, it's empty, okay? And we're going to fill it up. 
with our homemade solution here. So will I be disappointed if it doesn't work? A little bit. A little bit, but not too worried about it. Okay. Okay, now we gotta try it. Okay, this is gonna be our test dummy right here. Okay. All right, so we know that regular CA accelerator is gonna set this CA glue really quickly. Of course, the nozzle's plugged. Gonna do a pretty thick swath there. And then we'll do a control right next to it. Okay, the one on the right is actually a lot thicker, so let's try to cure it. A thick CA. What that is. Okay. Alright. A little bit bottles just a hair warm um, let's see I'm gonna spray it in the trash can to clear out the nozzle okay it's ready oh wow I don't know if you could hear it I actually got a little bit on the other one. Smells like CA accelerator. All right, well, I can tell right off that Okay, so I know I have too much water in it, because see this? This is water. The water is, uh... But, I mean, the CA? Oh, yeah. I mean, it just said it instantly. Look at that. So, but it's wet. A little bit of dampness out here. Alright, so what do you think of that? I think if I use, you have to use water to um, dissolve the sodium hydroxide. But as it dries, it's not sticky. That's not sticky. That's a little bit sticky. That's really sticky out there. Oh. You know what I just realized? You know why that's sticky? That's full of hairspray. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to redo the test. Okay, don't go anywhere. Tell you what. So we have a propeller here. And that's just printed in black PLA. And all I want to know is, is it going to set? And will it damage the PLA, right? That's what I want to know. Okay, I wasn't happy with the way this prop turned out anyhow, so we're going to use it as our test dummy. Okay, that's a pretty thick coating of CA on that blade there. Very thick coating, actually.
Okay. All right, well the glue is set. And it's just, now it's wet with a little bit of water. Because I put too much water in there. Where's my rag at? So I'm going to da dab the water off of it. The CA definitely set up. I mean, it just sets it instantly. Okay. Tur kind of turns it white. Do you think that's the excess water that's in it? Hmm, I am not sure. Okay, let's try one more time on the back side here. Now granted, you guys, I mean typically you're not using quite this much CA, right? I mean that's really thick on there. Let me thin it out just a little bit, like kind of more like if you were gluing some parts together. So it's still definitely wet, very wet. Okay, you ready? I'm going to wet it down good because I put so much on there. As soon as it hits it, it sets. Then you just dry the water off, I guess, or you just wait for the water to dry. It's kind of funny that where it's really thick, I can... It, it's almost like it sets the top so fast that the, the underside, because see that's still a little bit sticky there, so... Shut up and sit down.